Back. As we know, Independence Day is Saturday. Across the nation, people are getting ready to celebrate it. Our sunny side tells us how to have a safe weekend of festivities, not only for you, but for your pets. Setting off fireworks by yourself is illegal within the city limits of Bryan College Station. Not only can you face up to a $1,000 fine, but you can also get hurt. On the 4th of July every year, the number of fires in the nation doubles, and that's because of the use of fireworks. But we also see a lot of injuries. Most of those injuries are to the hands. All right, and then you've got eye injuries, ear injuries, a lot of sensitive areas get, get hurt by fireworks. So what we really want people to do is to find a professional fireworks show to go to and leave the fireworks to the professionals. Although discouraged by the fire department in College Station, if you are in an area legal for consumer fireworks, make sure you are taking safety precautions. Make sure you've got a water hose nearby. Make sure you've got a bucket of water nearby. After those fireworks are used and you've cleaned up the area, put those used fireworks in water and let them soak overnight. While you are enjoying the festivities with friends and family, don't forget to check on your furry friends. As it gets darker, go ahead, maybe turn the TV on, uh, close the windows, keep your pet in kind of an interior room of the home, um, and just be aware if your pet does start exhibiting symptoms of anxiety, so shaking, you can see more of the whites in their eyes. Um, just try to keep them calm, maybe in their kennel. The loud sounds may not make sense to your pets, and shelters face a huge intake the two weeks following July 4th. If your pet is not microchipped, call your vet. Call a local we here. We still got some appointments available all the way up till Friday. We will be closed on Saturday, but we have appointments available. Get your pet microchipped. Aggieland Humane Society says pets may hide for a couple days after they run away because they are afraid. The shelter advises you to not give up hope looking for them if they go missing. In College Station, Sunnyside, KAGS News.